everyone, and welcome to the Stocks with Show Market Review of the QQQs. Taking a look at the market here, I called the market this morning, even though it was gapping down, which I, I thought was surprising. I called that there was potential for the market to hold today, and I said, don't be surprised if it happens. But I did say if we fell, we'd still hold to the next level of support. Remember, there's many, many areas of support and resistance. And uh, the market could uh, do a lot of retests of support in here and, and still be bullish. But it is holding today, and it will hold today, and the market will close with a green body in it today. The body could be medium or large. It's not going to be small. Uh, let's take a look at this. So anyways, we did rally on Friday. The rally held, held this nice support from the huge bearish day we had on Thursday. We held immediately on Friday. <clears throat> and I thought we might have held Thursday. We didn't. And then it was easy to see we were going to fall all day. But then we held Friday. I thought this morning we might gap up. When I saw the gap down, I looked at it extremely close to see where we were gapping. And then I realized that it was still going to hold. Even though we 100% retraced the rally from Friday in the gap down today, the bulls took over, came in, held, and are supporting the market. Why? Because the bulls are in control of this market and will continue to remain in control of this market. But I, I will admit that the market had a bearish air to it this morning, the fact that it had gapped down and 100% retraced the green bar from Friday and gapped down, but it wasn't going to go anywhere. And at one point this morning, we were down around in here. But we held. We held beautifully. We held right in the open in the first five minutes of the day. Again, extremely important to be able to re read that beginning period. In the first 30 minutes of the day, you can tell a lot what's happening in the stock of the market. And it was evident quickly today the market was going to hold. I'm very good at actually reading the first five to 15 minutes of any stock in the market. So I read the market to hold really quickly today. It was aggressive, but it didn't. And I thought we'd fake lower at one point and then still hold. And we, we did that barely. Uh, but market will hold in here today. So, you know, the target's 99. We basically got there. Target was 99 for the QQQs today. We basically got there. So I don't know exactly where we go from here the rest of the day. Again, it's a Monday. It's 12 o'clock. Four more hours of trading left in the day. But the market got to the target. So if you bought the market in the morning, it got to the target and got to the target before lunch. It was about 11.15. Again, eight pennies from the number. Here's where I thought the market might think lower. Quickly, 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 I thought people would short this resistance, but that it would be a fake out. It was. Triggered in a five minute buy, sub held and rally went right to the number. Market really power trending here in the 15 minute chart, you can see. Look at this nice power trend up here in the 15. Extremely strong, okay? Again, the market rallied up here to this area. You can call it resistance if you want. You can call it anything you want. But the fact is that the daily chart of the market is strong and it's going to continue to stay that way. There's a very high odds that we get over the high this week. Why? Today is only Monday. We're holding, and we held in that gap down today, which just gives me more confirmation that we're going to hold in this level in here. I have to see where we gap tomorrow morning, and it depends where we close tonight. Looks like tomorrow could be a very nice bullish day in the market, too. So three, uh, the possibility for three nice solid bullish days around here or more. Why? If we want to rally over the high this week. The next target for the QQQ is 102, 102, 102, 50, 103. Could we get up there in the next rally over the high? Sure. Up here, we are at 156 was the previous high. So that would be a $1.50 rally or thereabouts over the high. We could shoot up to 102 when we tip over this number. I'm sure that people shorted this market in here from this two gap downs that happened here and the falling that happened in the red day here. But the fact is this market is not as short. This market is not extended. It's going to make a new high at some point. It could be this week, uh, October. I have a feeling, and I said this in the last email, that I talked about or the last uh, video I did. Uh, it's my instinct here. I'm reading the price action every day, getting the confirmation that the bulls are holding this market up. It keeps buying every dip down. The market keeps getting bought. The institutions are buying. Uh, I'm seeing October with the possibility of turning out to be an extremely bullish month. But October could be extremely bullish. I don't know yet. It's not even October yet. You know, I trade every day, I day trade, I look at the gaps in the market every day when I see it, and I see it as I call it, but I have a feeling, this is nothing but a feeling, this is just nothing but a feeling of reading the price action here. Intuition kicking in, and I saw it like one day last week when I was looking at this, I said, uh, I think October is going to be really strong. And it's earnings season as well, which starts in a week. So nice rally for the market here, beautiful call that the stocks will show. 
uh, live, which is me, that the market would hold today, and aggressively saw it out of the gate. Out of the gate aggressively, right away, saw the market to hold this morning. And you could have bought it or you could have waited for the five minute. And either way, risk your reward was there. Market rallied a dollar, got to the target, could go beyond the target today, although I'm really not sure why. Mondays are typically slow. Market could sideline in here back and forth, wiggle and jiggle until it closes. Don't know if we have the energy to get up over the resistance today, over 99, but we'll have to see how we close and then where we gap tomorrow morning. This is the Stock Swish Show live trading room. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. The next Golden Gap class is going to be in October. If you would like more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information or want to sign up or pre register, feel free to reach out to me. If you want to get my market calls and the gap calls in the trading room, you need to do the Golden Gap class in order to be in the live trading room. It's a great room to be in because I'm consistent with my strategy and the calls. I'm also very aggressive and seeing things that are challenging, like the market today to hold. And I'm sure a lot of people thought the market would fall today. And I couldn't blame them for thinking that because of the 100% retracement from Friday and also the gap down. But, you know, market's strong. Got to know which gaps are short, which ones not to. And this market short, uh, this market gap down was not short today. Okay. Market's not a short, it's a long. Have a great day, everyone. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.